think about Chairman Showstack, huh? He has done such a great job of making Michigan competitive in this race, and because of him, Michigan is going to put us over the top and win the White House for Mitt Romney. Thank you. I am so honored to be able to introduce former First Lady, Lady Mrs. Laura Bush. Things. Obviously, we all know what a gracious, uh, wonderful First Lady she was, but I looked at her differently. I look at her as a mother. As a mother myself, trying to raise wonderful children, I so admire what she did with Jenna and Barbara Bush, and the wonderful young women they have turned out to be, and what an amazing example she is to mothers across the country, and also her efforts with women's health and with literacy. These are things that have such a far-reaching impact on our nation. What a treasure she is to all of us. So I want to say a couple things about this election. I know they have a saying in Texas that says, don't mess with Texas, right? <laughs> we know. And I want to introduce Mrs. Bush to a little thing we have here in Michigan, which is, don't mess with the myth, right? <laughs> home state. This is where he was born and raised. This is where he fell in love with Anne. This is where his parents are buried. This is the state that's going to put him over the edge and put him into the White House. I just lost the microphone. And put him into the White House. Woo! in Michigan, and of course, we see Michigan a lot when he was president. So it's great to be in Detroit today and be here with you all in Livonia and to have the chance to thank each and every one of you for the work that you're doing. You're just doing a really terrific job. You may know that you've made, in the whole United States, uh, you've made the sixth largest number of phone calls, which is terrific. So congrats you all for that. I really appreciate it. I also want to recognize Governor Brian Colley, your uh, Lieutenant Governor. I don't, where's Pete Hoekstra? Where are you? Know, maybe he's gone on to the next stop, I guess. But he was very, very important in his job um, on the Foreign Relations Committee, Chairman of the House Intelligence Committee when George was President. And it's really important. Uh, that you elect him to the Senate. It'd just be great if Michigan had him in the Senate. Woo! I also want to recognize the mayor of Livonia, Jack Kirksey. Thank you so much, Mayor. And I was very, very thank you to our GOP chairman. He's just terrific. He just got the whole crowd fired up, and that was great. And uh, I want to tell you that George sends you his very best. We're doing great back home in Texas, living what I call the afterlife <laughs> in a state George calls the promised land. <laughs> but we're doing very well in the Bush Presidential Center that will be at SMU, my alma mater. The big Nine-volt battery. Okay. I'll try this one. <laughs> the Bush Presidential Center is almost complete. Uh, the archives will start to move the presidential papers in uh, late this November uh, next month, and the grand opening is next April 25th. So I hope you all, all will try to come to the grand opening, or if you can't come to the opening, come to Texas next summer and visit the Bush Presidential Library. that will be open. It's going to be really terrific. Our girls are doing great. Jenna and Henry Hager are happily married. Jenna's working as a contributing correspondent for NBC's Today Show. 
You may have seen her. She's on just every once in a while. George says she's just continuing the Bush family tradition of warm relations with the media. <laughs> Our daughter has founded a nonprofit called Global Health Corps that places recent college graduates in the health field in underserved areas. She has 90 fellows in her third group of Global Health Corps fellows in Newark, Boston, and Washington, D.C., and in five countries in Africa. So if you know any young people who are interested, they can look on the web at ghcore.org. She's doing just great. They both are. And the Bushes, President George H.W. Bush and Barbara, are back home in Houston. They spend the summer in Maine, as you all know, and then the winter in Houston. Uh, they're doing great. They're both in good health. President Bush turned 88 last summer. And when he turned 85, the milestone year of 85, he celebrated with his traditional skydiving jump. <laughs> out of an airplane. We were all in Maine that summer for his birthday, and it happens that the largest space to jump into in Guinea Bunkport is a churchyard. <laughs> My mother-in-law, Barbara Bush, joked that that was convenient. <laughs> if anything went wrong, we could just wheel him straight on in. <laughs> but he's doing very well. They're both doing really great. And uh, we, we treasure our time with them. Jenna's uh, now going every month uh, to get video footage of her grandparents, reading their old letters, telling stories, and she just wants to have that both for the Bush, President Bush's library that's a college station, but also just for her cousins and, and um, all of the family to have this footage of them because they're so terrific. Um, now, let's get to what we're really here for, which is to thank you all very, very much and to encourage you to keep working every single day. Keep going to door-to-door, -to -door, keep making those phone calls, and then make sure all of those people that you contacted turn out to vote on November 6th. It's really, really important that we have the ground game that wins. And I think you all have really set it up so that that's what we'll have in Michigan. And I want to thank you all for that very much. I've been with Ann Romney lately. We did an event together, a reception together in Oklahoma City. And she's just so terrific. And I think everyone really saw it at her convention speech, which was great. And then I hosted a luncheon for her at my house, a fundraising luncheon. We raised a lot of money from women from around the country, which is great because the, that money is going into ads in Ohio and a few other states where um, we need to stay on television till November 6th. But one of the things that I was struck by, and the, one of the things she said in her convention, which I think is so right, is she said that Americans are too smart to know that there aren't easy answers to the challenges we face, but we're not too dumb to know that there aren't better answers. Amen. And we do know that Mitt Romney and Paul Ryan have better answers. And they'll do the work the minute they're inaugurated to make sure uh, we can face the challenges that we have, both the challenges to our economy, uh, the personal challenges that we all have across our country because of the downturn in our economy, and also the challenges that we face overseas. And the, really, the, the way we want Americans to be thought of, and that is strong, obviously, and friends to our friends. And I think it's really important that we have that kind of foreign policy, and I know that Ned will have that kind of foreign policy. So, I just want to encourage you to keep going uh, keep working all the way through to November 6th. Drive yourself to the polls along with everybody on your block. <laughs> yeah, that's right. <laughs> Make sure they all get there and vote. And it's just great to see you all. Thank you very, very much. And God bless you all. Cheer the Tigers to a win.
Tyler to win.